In this video, I will show you how to enhance your enterprise command centers with an additional export functionality. Let's assume you have an enterprise command center here, for example, receivables. So now it's loading. And you have your command center data. Uh, here we have two ledgers. Let's select only one of them. So you have your dashboard on top and at the bottom here you have your transactions. In the command center there is an out of the box export functionality. It's a little bit hidden behind these three dots here. So you click on the three dots, then on this download icon, then it shows you a screen. You can click on export and it downloads the, the data. But it only downloads a few columns, so I think we need to configure to download all of them. So let's go back and go to the screen again. So first of all, there's also a warning that it only exports 1000 records. So that's the limitation of the Enterprise Command Center export and it also only does CSV. So let's select all groups and also the hidden columns like this. And then we have a bigger data set. So now we have all the data, but only the first thousand records. And it's also a CSV, so it's not very nicely formatted. And the CSV files, they have additional problems. For example, if you have a character field that is looks like your number, so you have, for example, the transaction reference is a character field, but for Excel, it looks like a number, and then it formats it in a numeric format instead of alphanumeric. Uh, so if you would like to have this data in a real Excel, then you can use Blitz report. And so let's open a Blitz report function. And if we have the development access, we can go to the setup screen. And here we have an enterprise command center, a center query import option. So we can select the command center as an import option. And we can select, in this case, the receivables outstanding receivables. So that's the data set. So we have in the, in the list of values, we have all enterprise command center data sets available. And these are the queries that uh, the command center uses in the back end to synchronize the data from the EBS to the command center. So let's import the outstanding receivables. And then we have it now as a blitz report with the SQL query and parameter. So we can run it from here. Let's run it for the same operating unit, vision operations. Now it's opening. And we have the data nicely in Excel. We have a few more columns because in the back end, the query exports more data than we saw in the CSV export. For example, here columns, attribute fields, and also columns which start with an upper quote and so on. Also row ID, so a couple of columns which you don't need, but also a few additional columns which might be interesting. For example, here's an aging bucket column, which could be useful to do pivoting on our data. So let's clean it up a little bit and create a template to remove the columns which we don't need. For example, the attribute columns. So we can filter here all the columns that we want to remove and also the ones, let's say we don't need the IDs, so we can look for the ID columns and remove those as well. And also the columns starting with that upper quote we also don't need, there's the single upper quote here. So also all these. Okay, and then what else do we have? So we can, let's see how it comes out. And this query, there's also a difference to the command center data because now the query runs real time on the EBS side. So it is real time and not synchronized to the command center server anymore. So it's a little bit cleaner. We have a few more uh, less columns. And we can also, on top of this now, we can add additional layouts. I hear the bucket uh, column is also duplicate. So let's remove the, the duplicate one. Let's say this one. And we can also, for example, create a pivot. Let's do it like that. So now we want the amounts. Let's say the accounted amount. And we could... Uh, Maybe categorize it by customer. So here, build to customer. And let's say 
transaction class do we have something like that transaction class this one maybe the other way around okay let's run it so here we can create a pivot similar to excel we have filters columns rows and values and now the export file would have the second sheet pivoted according to this criteria okay that looks more interesting so we have here transaction class and build to customer in the rows and we have the buckets aging buckets in the columns and we could also add a pie chart for example or an additional dashboard basically any excel standard functionality we can use to modify the layout yeah maybe without the buckets then okay like this so let's assume we have this layout and always would like to have it like this i'm saving it now and then we can upload that layout here to the template from my downloads folder okay it's uploaded that means next time we run it again the report now let's say we run it for different operating unit instead of vision operations let's run it for vision services so that we see different data so now it remembers the layout with the, that additional pie chart i mean this is just an example so here was the old file so this is vision operations this is now vision services so you see the it's very quick to create additional layouts and get the data into a proper Excel file. Thanks for watching.